You've been doing this for a while now. You obviously have a lot to pull from with the business, with your life. Do you ever get tired of it? Oh, absolutely. And any creator who's been doing a particular book, comic strip, or anything for as long as I've been doing it, I'm in my 11th year of doing it, anyone who says no is lying. Absolutely lying. At least once a year, I have kind of a writer's block where I think, oh, that's it. I have no more good ideas. I've used up every good idea for a comic strip that I have. There's no more. The well is dry. And then a week or two later, I have more ideas and then I do more strips. And I think, oh yeah, that's a really good one. That happens all the time. When you know you have to do it, oh, I got to get it done before Wednesday and I've only got a day to finish it. It can be grueling. It's like a job where you have to just sit down and make yourself do it, even though you're not enjoying it. Once you're finished with it and you look at it and you post it and people comment on it, then you're enjoying it all over again. Yeah, it is a love-hate thing. I think that any creator will tell you that. You know, the fan reaction has been consistent. You know your audience. Have fans come to you with their own story ideas? Does that help you? That happens all the time. At a convention or if I see somebody that I know out, they will say, oh my God, I got a great idea for a comic strip. You got to listen to this one. I got a great idea. Spoiler, it's never a great idea. <laughs> There's a reason why, and I don't want to talk bad about anybody who's like enthusiastic about wanting to share their experiences or their ideas for a good comic strip. Writing comedy is hard. It's very hard. A joke has to have a certain tempo, a certain feel. It has to have a certain punch to it. For somebody who's never written comedy before, they might not understand that. So I get a lot of people tell me, oh, I got a great idea for a comic strip. They will tell me a setup without a punchline. And they'll say, okay, you and Kristen are doing this, and then you do this, and then just write a joke at the end. That's not how comedy works. Yeah, it happens all the time. I think people are great for being that enthusiastic that they want to share, and I love it, but I have not ever used an idea that anyone has ever given me. Oh, except one time, very, very early on. It was my wife that had a very solid strip idea. And I actually thought, oh, that's good. She had a complete idea, the setup, the conflict, and the payoff, the punchline. And it was perfectly fully formed. And I thought, that's a great idea. And so I did it. And I credited her when it went out. So yeah, if you're going to come to me with your idea for a great script, all I say is have a strong punchline, because that's always the thing that's missing.